in candy cane. <laughs> I said that weird. Candy cane, candy cane. Wow, that's a big swatch. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got Friday favorites and foodies for you today, and there's really no like overall theme this week, but I was realizing as I kind of put this makeup look together today that I look quite holiday, <laughs> which I didn't do this exact makeup look this week, but I wore this lip and then I wore this eye look, but with like a different lip, and then I wore this lip with a different eye look, so I just put it together today, and I ended up looking kind of holiday. But I love all these things I'm going to talk to you about, and I do love this makeup look, and I guess it's just kind of a classic makeup look, but something about the glitter with the reddish sort of lip feels very holiday to me. So, anywho, I didn't do holiday makeup this week, but I guess if you put some of these things together, it could get that way. I'm just rambling. Let's get to the favorites. On my nails this week, I wore this one from Zoya, and I love this color so much. This is Dia, D, D, E, A. But it's just a really pretty brown color, but it's almost got like a, I don't know, like a purpley burgundy undertone, but just really, really slightly. It's, I mean, mainly just a brown, but I love it. And it's worn pretty well. I've had to kind of redo a couple of nails and then this one is now chipping, but it's just a really pretty cream finish and just a gorgeous brown. I love these neutrally sort of colors. And this is one of my favorite polishes that I've worn in a while, just... I love that color. So since I filmed my last Friday favorites, I've been on a couple of trips. First off, Timothy and I went down to Houston to visit Mallory and Keegan, which was so much fun. Then there was the makeup show in Dallas, and that was a blast too. So I was packing some makeup. So when I think about just like never fail me sort of makeup, one of my go-to palettes is my Urban Decay Naked One palette. That one is just like a go-to for me. But also I use this one a lot, my Too Faced Natural Eyes palette. This is just one that, it just is a great neutral palette. It goes with any lip color. It just is, when I don't really wanna think about a makeup look, but I wanna have a lot of options, this is one that I can grab for. It's great quality, really, really pretty shadows. If you're looking for just a great neutral palette, I mean, this is it. And if you pair it with a reddish sort of lip, you end up looking a little bit holiday, but I like these kind of looks anyway. These, you know, just kind of like a classic neutral eye and then, you know, the red lips. So I guess red lips just, a lot of times they remind me of either like retro or holiday, like those two things, but really they're just, red lips are just a beautiful makeup look. So here are some of the shadows, really, really pretty, super pigmented, they wear well. This one right here, that one is Silk Teddy. That's gorgeous. I mean, so pretty. And then the like blending shades are really nice. Just a great neutral palette. So if you are looking for a good neutral palette, um, it's a bonus that it's like small and compact, so it's good for traveling. I think that this is a great option. Another go-to for me for kind of like fun makeup are the Urban Decay Moon Dust shadows. So I brought Space Cowboy with me and this is one of my favorites because it's one of the most just neutral and it's basically just like a neutral glitter. I don't know how else to describe it. It's just, I don't know, there's not like a lot of pigment behind it, like a color to it. So it kind of like takes on whatever you put it over. You know what I mean? I would say if anything, it's kind of just like a nude or something or like a light peachy neutral color with glitter over it I really love it but if you don't like glitter you won't like it but <laughs> it's so pretty it's so fun what I usually do is I use it with MAC fix plus just I find that that works the best because then you don't get glitter everywhere because if you use it dry you're likely gonna get glitter everywhere and you're probably not gonna like it because just dry I mean there is pigmentation to it, but when you use it with something like a, some kind of a mixing medium or fix plus or whatever, it really just amps it up a notch and really gives you that intense, glittery, fun sort of look. So I love all the moon dust shadows. I love the moon dust palette. I think they're so fun. Um, this one and Diamond Dog are two of my very, very favorites, but again, 
you gotta like glitter to like these. For blush this week, these are my two go-tos. My two go-tos. Yes, my two go-tos. Um, so first off is Merle Norman blush. This is from the Fall Collection. This is the Lasting Cheek Color in Wild Ginger. And this is just such a beautiful neutral. I believe that this one is going to be a permanent color or already is a permanent color and was just kind of like prom promoted with the fall collection. But if you're looking for a really nice neutral blush, this is pretty and it has a really nice texture to it. It's not, I don't know, like it's not, um, it doesn't drag. It's really nice and buttery and this color, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It's like a warm peachy neutral. So it's kind of a nude, kind of a bronzy shade, kind of a peach, just beautiful, pretty much just a matte. Um, and I love it. I mean, it goes so well with neutrals, but it goes well with really crazy makeup too because it's so neutral. So beautiful. And it's one of those blushes that you can skip bronzer with it if you want to, you know, if you just want kind of like an easy makeup look because it's got that kind of like sort of bronzy tone to it, you can just, you know, do it a little bit lower, blend it up, and then you've got basically like a bronzer blush in one. I also really enjoy this little Blush and Brighten Trio from Laura Geller. I don't believe that this is still sold anymore. I got this from QVC, but I don't know if it was available anywhere else or if it is still around anywhere, but if you can find it, it's perfect for travel. But these two are definitely still sold individually. I don't think this one is, this um, Peach Berry. I don't think that one's sold individually, but I was actually mainly just wearing these two this week and these are all beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love the Blush and Brightens from Laura Geller. They're like buttery and such a nice texture to them. And because they're baked, I mean, they just effortlessly blend into the skin. So effortlessly. Oh my gosh, I love them. Okay, so let me make sure I've got these colors right. Okay, so. The peachy one at the bottom, that is peach berry. The middle one is pink buttercream. And the top one is tropic hues. All amazing. I love them. You see that they're just like, they just have like a glow to them. So they're not glittery or anything like that. And when you get them on your cheeks, they just have this like highlighty blush goodness to them. They're so gorgeous. So I do have just a little bit of these two, just a tiny little bit over the Merle Norman blush today. So I'm mostly wearing the Merle Norman blush, but I wanted just a little bit of something. And then I have a highlighter as well that I'm about to mention to you, but this is just so cute and it's perfect for travel. But you know, if this isn't still available anywhere, the actual blushes are just gorgeous. I mean, I liked this for travel this week, but it's my favorite because I like the blushes inside that I was wearing. <laughs> and the highlighter that I packed with me that I'm actually wearing on my cheekbones as well as on my eyelids today, this is the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in Stole the Show. And I have a little small one because it was like a promo type of a deal. So you got like a free highlighter. This was a long time ago when I got this, but whoa, whoa. I mean, that's pretty. That is pigmented, but I mean, hello, gorgeous highlight. If you love like a bright, wabam, champagne, white sort of a highlight, this is it. This one stole the show because it's so gorgeous. But it doesn't come off looking like that whoa on the cheeks unless you really build it up. So I have it applied with, um, what did I use? A Real Techniques brush. A little pointy, small one. I don't remember, but that's what I used. And, you know, I feel like it's not over the top, like on first application. But if you want it to be, whoa, highlight, you can definitely get it to that point. And it's really pretty on the eyes too. So again, it's good for travel that you have basically a shadow and a highlight in one. I should have put it on the inner corners of my eyes. That would have been pretty too. On my lips this week, I was still wearing my Rimmel Kate 55 My Nude. This is one of the 15 year anniversary lipsticks. This is just so pretty, gorgeous nude. I wore this a lot in Houston. It's just, it's a great neutral. Like that's why I love it so much. I mean, it's just gonna go with everything. It doesn't look over the top like you're super duper made up, but it does give you 
some color to your lips, so I'm still loving that. And then also I wore this gloss. This is the Marc Jacobs, I don't know what these are called, Enamored something? I can't read that, that's too tiny. <laughs> but this is in the color Love Buzz, and this is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, it's like a, it even looks pretty in the packaging. Like it just is one of those colors that just, you wanna stare at it because it's got so much going on. It's kind of just like a duochrome, gold, peach, pink kind of thing. So I'm gonna show it to you by itself and then over that lipstick. And it's got kind of like a minty sort of a smell, but I don't really notice like a cooling. I'm trying to think about it. Nothing like the Buxom ones, but I mean, it does have that like minty sort of smell. So maybe a little bit of a cooling, but not like the tingle. So there it is by itself. And there it is over the gloss. So it's just, it's a beautiful gloss. I mean, yeah. I feel like it looks a little bit different in the container than it does like actually when you get it swatched. It's more pinky looking in the container and like it has more color to it. But in a swatch, it's more kind of peachy, golden, a little bit sheer but still amazing. Now what I have on my lips right now that's looking pretty holiday with my eye look, but it's probably looking pretty holiday because it is holiday, <laughs> is this combo right here. This isn't holiday, but this is. The lip liner is the NYX Lip Liner Pencil in Plush Red. This is just one of my go-tos for like a pinky red sort of a lip color, but I love these lip liners, the NYX ones. I love the Jordana ones. I love the Rimmel ones. Overall, I just prefer more affordable lip liners, so these are some of my go-tos. And then the lip color is the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquefied Matte Long Wear Lipstick. That's a long name. In Candy Cane. <laughs> I said that weird. Candy Cane. Candy Cane. Yeah, in this color right here. Candy Cane. The outside packaging is so cute. I love it. It's really cute. Like the actual box itself is cute. This is really, really adorable. Looks like a candy cane. I love packaging. Sucks me in every time. So the packaging is adorable. It smells really yummy. Oh my gosh. Like straight up peppermint mocha. I mean, they nailed the scent right on with this one. So, so yummy. Love the scent. And it tastes really good too. I would say probably doesn't taste as much like peppermint mocha, more just kind of like sweet, but I like it. And even with the fairly strong scent, when I get it on my lips, I don't smell it, but I definitely still taste it like for a long time. So the, the taste stays around, but the scent doesn't really stick around if that bothers you. Wow, that's a big swatch. <laughs> I don't know what happened there, but you can really see it. It's a pretty raspberry pinky red just a really gorgeous color. I love this shade. It just is a bright, fun color. It is great for the holidays. I mean, it is a great holiday color, but just in general, if you like red lip colors, this is a beautiful one. I think these are pretty comfortable. Um, not the most comfortable liquid lipsticks, in my opinion, that I've ever worn, but they are pretty long wearing. So I think they do kind of have a good, they're a good spot where they're not the most comfortable, but transfer or the most long wearing and uncomfortable. They're kind of right in between. So not my absolute favorites, but I would say in my top 10 favorite liquid lipsticks, I think they're pretty good. And this is a beautiful color. All right guys, so those are all my favorites for this week. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please do a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what you were loving this week or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.